I urge every member of my staff, every man and woman dedicated to the true mission of the Humanity Front, to do the same. I say yes. If you're watching this, I beg you, do not allow misplaced anger to destroy everything we have struggled to achieve. It's over. He knows I can't come back from that. Everybody knows, Sandoval. You can't hide from what you've done. What I've done, Mr. Jensen? I spent years patching people back together from augmentation botch jobs and systemic organ rejection brought on by implants. And now, because of Bill's betrayal, I'll never practice medicine again. You really want to help someone? Tell me where Seraph scientists are. I wish I could, Mr. Jensen. But my involvement ended right after I failed to remove their GPLs. You failed? Turns out, my surgical skills weren't good enough to bypass David Seraph's insurance policy. So for all I know, those little implants are broadcasting right now. On a frequency so low, your network specialist wouldn't think to look for it. You changed the frequencies. You have your answers, Mr. Jensen. And I've lost all of mine. The courts may think I have much to atone for, but my court will be a higher one. Oh boy. How about I take that gun with me when I go? You got everything you came for. Please, just leave. Believe it or not, I'd rather you didn't kill yourself. That's because you have no idea what tortures I've endured. The guilt, the shame. I was told the scientists would be used to find a peaceful solution to the augmentation crisis. Instead, I was involved in kidnapping and murder. My life ended that night. It's time for me to go. Think about it. Are you really in such a hurry to face that higher court of yours? Super Omega. At least there are no lies before God. Did you see that abominable press conference? William Taggart all but accused me of terrorism. He claimed that all the violence committed in the name of our cause was the result of my influence. So stay alive long enough to tell him your side of the story. He already knows it isn't true. I trusted that man. A little For beta. years I gave him loyal service and he betrayed me. He sacrificed my freedom and good name to save the reputation of his organization. It's no use fighting him. He'll just spin it again. At least if I die, he'll never be able to use me again. Tough love, empathize, inspire. So tell your side of the story to the press. Swear at your trial that you're a better person than him. You want a peaceful solution to the augmentation crisis? Every camera in the country is going to be pointed at you. Use it to make a case. Convince people. Bill Taggart already controls public opinion. You can try to lift my spirit all you want, Mr. Jensen, but the facts don't change. To think I believe oh, no. that my life could be spent helping people. What foolish arrogance. I was a failure as a doctor and as a political lobbyist, but I didn't learn my lesson. I had to try one last time. I had to go too far. I should have known better. But I was a born loser, Mr. Jensen. And I am fated to die as one. Tell me, what lesson are you teaching your kids by killing yourself? It's bad enough they're gonna find out you're a criminal, but you want them to be quitters too? Kill yourself now, and you'll be telling them it's okay to take the easy way out. I know you don't want that. So put the gun down. Show them by your example that you want them to grow up to be fighters. You son of a bitch! <laughs> Using a man's family against him! I deserve to die, you understand? I've earned it! God damn! But I can't let them repeat my mistakes. I can't. 
take the gun for their sake. Got him. Pritchard, I love how that can turn this. the tide. The That's GPLs crazy. are still transmitting. Sandoval switched them to a lower frequency. But, but they could <laughs> be broadcasting <laughs> anywhere in the world. I don't have the type of equipment we'll need to find them. It's our only lead, Pritchard. You have to do something. I know. See if I can combine this with one of these. Okay. Listen. The riot's still blocking the street entrance. Head back to your apartment and Malik will fly you over. Maybe by the time you get here, I'll have figured out something. All right, so now we need to get out of here. It's a good thing it's only security rating one. <laughs> really? Access granted. Five seconds left. What would have happened if we got locked out? My question. They must have locked them all up, brother. Uh. Ouch. So I wonder if that was the last time that we got that glitch type thing. Where it kept, uh... What is it? Um, like the static and everything. Because we walked into the room and somebody was there waiting to catch us and then uh, I haven't seen it since then so I don't know if it was that or maybe it's still there like there's still a glitch in a system not sure going up to the roof I think the <laughs> the helicopter is about to take us away and that's uh, that's at this point it's whatever i don't need to do the uh the other mission Detective work, Jensen. You ready to return to HQ? Yep. Yeah. Let's hope Pritchard's found that frequency. You said it. We left without turning in the other side quest, but honestly, whatever at this point. Pocket secretaries often contain passcodes or computer passwords. Oh, I didn't realize that. I wonder if you have to have to actually view them. I got a message for you, Jensen, from Pritchard. He says he's not in the office. Great. 
So what exactly am I supposed to do? I don't know. He said you should check in with the boss. Okay. Go meet up with this dude. I can just see them entire young all gathered around. Even if it was true that we were breeding a bunch of augmented soldiers and training. Sheriff? David's just stepped out for a moment, Mr. Jensen. But do come in. I've been hoping to meet you. Mr. Darrow, I'm surprised you even know who I am. David speaks very highly of you. He says that when it comes to detective work, you are like a dog with a bone. Have you found your scientist yet? He has his what else did David tell you? Info pulled up. Over the years, plenty. But today I'm here as a friend and fellow scientist. Things are getting quite turbulent out there, wouldn't you agree? So many people drunk on revolution. The United Nations being urged to intervene. And all because of the technology I created. Things have come a long way since then. Haven't they? And now my old friend David wants me to lead us to the promised land. He's asked me to invite members of the UN to Panchea to convince them we don't need industry regulation. Your geoengineering project in the Arctic Ocean. The installation couldn't have been built without the assistance of augmented workers. And when it's finished, my little hole in the ocean is going to stop global warming. A lovely photo op, wouldn't you say? If it works. You mean, if it doesn't kill us all? Adam? You're back. Uh, can I speak to you outside? Get to the helipad, son. You're going back to Hengcha Island. Frank tracked down one of the GPLs. Only one? Is it? Sevchenko's. But Adam, we had to call in a favor of the DOD to do it. Meaning, the conspirators probably know I'm coming. Oh boy. We didn't even get to talk to the dude. All right. That's just a like bathroom or something. I keep thinking these things look like protein shakes, <laughs> like a giant tub of protein. Basically what they are. I mean, they're like, uh, energy cell replacers or whatever. Said we're heading back to Hangsha. Pritchard tracks up Chenko's GPL signal. If he's alive, there's a chance the rest of them are too. That's a pretty big leap, Jensen. We've been making big leaps for a while now. Whatever you say. You ready to get going? Yep. No time like the present. Let's get going. Then hop in. Chinese government, I've got to comply. Bravo Echo Echo 008, proceeding to designated coordinates. What the hell? 
We've got a sandlock on our tail. What? There's Jesse, an EMP. All are down. Oh. Hang on, we're going in hard. Stop, Jesse. Nice landing. Wait. She was gonna land Pilot, like that. Company. Why know, did she tell him to jump? Some damage. Gonna need to patch it up before I can go. I'll stay and cover you. Negative. You need to get away from here and find Doctor Sevchenko. I'll be fine. You'll be a sitting duck. Maybe, maybe not. But this is your best chance to slip by them unnoticed, and you know it. So get out of here, Jensen. <laughs> you out of here yet, spy boy? No, Malik. Just find Vasily, Jensen. Keep them safe. Bye bye, asshole. Go to hell. You bastard, Farina! Wait, I wonder if we could have saved her. Jensen, I've been monitoring calm activity around Hengsha. Bell Tower's looking for you. Hard. Bastards ambushed us, Pritchard. Malik didn't make it. Oh, God. I... I know you might want to get even. But if they see you, if they recognize you, it might be better to stay out of their way. Yes, open it. It's a weird area to ask you if you want to open the door or not. <laughs> Surprised it didn't say that like right before we even left. Jeez. Oh, we're still having the glitch. Yeah, it's like everybody's having it. Failure. Oh no. Jensen? Jensen, the World Health Organization is advising all augmented patients to check in with Lim. There's a problem with biochip technology. The glitches I've been experiencing. We've all had them. So far, I can't determine why. You heading to a clinic? I'm running a few more tests. But since Should I can't exactly there? run them on you, and we don't know when you'll be back, you might not want to wait. Up to you. Okay, hopefully this is taking us over to the other area. Okay, nice. So right Mr. now... Mr. Jensen, Hugh Darrow here. Please forgive this intrusion, but David assured me of your cooperation and discretion. Check the map. I find myself in need of some assistance. I'm listening. A contact of mine, Meng Yao, is in Hengsha, waiting to fill you in. I'll upload her coordinates now. Quick. I'm so screwed. Excellent. 
Success granted. Oh my god. <laughs> right as my cloaking ran out. <laughs> Jeez. It seems like there's a bunch of suspicious. Oh sh Oh god. Oh my god. Run, 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 run. Let's get out of there. Where are they? Okay, we need to find another way down. Alright, this is kind of confusing. There's like nothing else right here. Also, let me disable this guy's side quest. There we go. It wanted me to come down here, but, or well, the option to take this ladder. What? Careful. Haha. <laughs> Seeing. Tong, you disappoint me, Jensen. I thought we were friends. Then my hacker gets killed. You break into my place of business, and you don't even have the manners to knock when you enter our room. A lot of bell tower heavies looking for you. And you reason I don't just turn you over. Yeah, Vasily Savchenko. Never touch the stuff. You're wearing his arm. GPL device inside it, let me straight to you. Scavenged tech. Get you every time. Wrong woman, don't do that, you hear? Sorry mm -hmm. to say, the man I got this from wasn't in a position to complain. Bell Tower gave us his corpse a few weeks ago. Bell Tower? Not Tai Young? Tai Young's not the one grabbing people off my streets and giving me choice Og, so I close my eyes. Sevchenko had four other scientists with him. I'm not wearing any of them. So maybe they're still alive, and maybe I help you out with this. Go on. I've got a pretty good idea where Bell Tower's been dragging people. 
problem is, bastard's got my son, and he gets a bullet if I step out of line. See where I'm going with this? Where is he being held? One of my harvester boys will tell you all about it. Meet him in the sewers near the Alice Garden Pond. Then, when you free my boy, come back and we talk some more. I can hardly wait. Yeah, that's sick. Uh, Ryan Reynolds is helping out with Able Gamers. That's awesome. Good shit. We're back on the hacking device. I didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, where is that? No, that's an EMP mine. It's a shotgun. Don't even need. Revolver, we can honestly drop at this rate because I'm not even going to use that either. Silent sniper rifle. Automatic unlocking device. Examine. Come on, let me examine it. Is it just because, like, that's all it does? <laughs> like, hey, it's pretty self explanatory. It just unlocks stuff for you. Uh, let's see. Seven. Wait, is this his computer? Trying to pick up the automatic unlocking device. I think this is where he sleeps. <laughs> Tranquilizer darts. Alright, uh it seems like we need to go to talk to somebody else. At least this whole gang is like friendly now. <laughs> That's the shotgun that I dropped. Or how do I get up there? No steps right here. There's a staircase to the left. Wait, there's an elevator? Can I take the elevator? No. Uh, let me see. Stairs look like they're blocked off, too. Is this just a cell? Oh, we can unlock the stairs. Yeah, I'll, I'll unlock it. Hack. for do access granted nice there we go all right so how do we this level two all right I don't think you can go down further you can only go up that's not too bad though 
still takes you down pretty far. Street level. All right, we'll have to hack this one too. Actually, let me just check. So if you go to like these, is there like something you have to click on to see the ebooks, emails, inventory, quests? Mark card handheld device. Where do the um I'm trying to find where the information goes? Let's save real quick. What's it called? Is it maybe it's like shop? General augments. No. Oh, you get three of these when you pick them up. Uh, I'm going to see if I can use some of these reload speeds. Laser targeting systems. Take two of them. Automatic on unlocking device. Security countermeasures. Pick them up. Hacker brain chip. That one. Oh, wait. That was a story item. So what are these? Pocket secretary, portable email reader. Oh, so pocket secretaries are literally just. Like emails. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to go make myself a drink real quick and then we'll go ahead and continue with this here afterwards. So I will.